Remember the milk, the smart list you may want. That's what we're going to be talking about today. This is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. In the last video, we looked at how to create tags and remember the milk and the advantage of doing so. Clicking on a tag in the sidebar brings up all of the tasks containing that tag. However, some items returned may have a due date months into the future. How can you get a list of the tasks that have the tag you're looking for, but they're in a more recent time frame? For example, how can I see a list of the phone calls I might need to make within the next week? The answer is to build a smart list. A smart list is a search saved for reuse. Let me show you what one might look like. Let's show you exactly how to build a smart list that's going to return anything anybody owes you within the next week. So we're going to go here to the search window and click the little downward pointing arrow. We'll say we want another criteria. We want to add criteria rather, and we'll go down to tag because first of all, we want things that are tagged ETR. So right there, if we click the little search uh, magnifying glass, it would return everything everybody owes us. It has the tag ETR, but we don't want that. We want things that are happening within the next seven days. So I'm gonna say add another criteria. We want the due date and we want the due date to be before. And now how are we gonna get what we want? So I'll go down to the little uh, drop down here and I'll say one week. And now clicking here is going to give us our search. I'm not going to show you the results of that search because it would contain names and phone numbers of real people. It would be private information, but it did return nine items for me. Now, what I want to show you though is what I have right here, this little button, all I have to do is click Save as Smart List, and that's going to put it down the side for me. So right here, the next time that I want to search for things that people owe me within the next week, all I would have to do would be come to my Smart List and click on this one. Likewise, you see some others that would parallel the tags that I have, phone calls to make, things to talk to my wife about, things that I wanted to read or watch or listen. I have those kind of parallel tags down in my list of tags. The things that make these different is that these smart lists are going to bring those items up that have due dates within a certain period of time, usually like within the next week. So which tags do you have that are going to need smart lists that parallel them? Now let's talk about smart lists that show projects. I use the pro version of Remember the Milk and therefore I have access to subtasks. Now in my system, when a new project arises, I simply create a new task. I phrase that project as a statement that's either true or false. Perhaps I'm in the market for a new car. I would simply create a task that reads, car has been purchased. I phrase the project as a statement with the noun up front. And now next, I would like to brainstorm the steps involved. Each step would be a subtask under the parent. And in an upcoming post, you're going to learn about this concept. Now, I'd like to be able to see a list of all of my projects. How I'm going to tell Remember the Milk what to look for. Let's build a smart list that's going to give me all of my projects. This one's actually very easy to build. I'm going to go to the search window, click the drop down. I'm going to simply say, let's add a criteria. Now, what criteria are we going to choose? The projects are tasks that have subtasks. So I'm going to go down here to say tasks. And then from the drop down here, I'm going to say that it has subtasks. If I click to search, it's going to give me a list of all of those and it would be all of my projects. I'm not going to show those to you because it does have sensitive information, but what you'll find is as soon as I hit the button, what we're going to see is a little button that appears over here that lets me save it as a smart list. And it's done exactly that. Clicking here would add that smart list down the left-hand side. So what we have just built is this one right here, 
all of the projects, regardless of due date. Let's do one more related to projects. We're gonna say, how about the projects that have a due date coming up within the next week? Let's show you how we would build that. We would go to the search window, click the drop down, say add another criteria. We want that this subtasks and that it has subtask, but then something more to give us the date. Let's add another criteria and say that the due date is before one week from now. Clicking here would give us a list of all of those. I'm not going to exactly just show those to you, but when we did that, the button would appear where we could click and save that as a smart list. Let's look at one more example of a smart list. This one's called Blast Forward Eligible. Let's say that your list has just gotten long. You're overwhelmed by all of these tasks that are now overdue, and you just like to move a lot of them forward. Now, one thing we could do very easily would just be go over to our today list, put a check at the very top. It would put check marks by side every single item that's due and just go over and say, let's postpone those by a day, two days, however many, a week, two weeks. But there are a couple of problems with that. Number one, I don't like to mess with repeating tasks. Moving the due date on those sometimes will just, it'll mess up your repeating pattern if you're not careful. Also, I don't like to mess with due dates on things that have subtasks or projects that do have subtasks. And finally, I don't like to mess with things that I've already said are part of my Fab Five. So how can I do a save search that's going to give me the things that are due today, that are on my today list? In other words, they're due today or they were due in the past and they're not priority one and they do not have subtasks and they are not subtasks themselves. So let's build our Blast Forward Eligible Smart List. We're going to go to the search window, click the drop down. The first criteria that we're going to say is that on subtasks, that it is not a subtask. Let's add another criteria. We're also going to choose subtask, that it is not a subtask. We also said that we don't want to get repeating tasks involved in this. So we're going to say add another criteria. We're going to say repeat. We're going to say that this is not repeating. And we said we don't want to have the priority one, the fab five included in this. So we're going to say let's add another criteria. And we're going to say that this is priority. And we're going to say it is not priority one. So this is going to give us tasks that are either priority two, three, or four that are not repeating and that do not have subtasks. And now one more thing. These are going to need to be things that have a due date of now or in the past. So let's add another criteria. This is going to involve due date. And we're going to say it is before tomorrow. Would that work? So that's going to give us things that are due today or are due in the past, which would put them on the today list that are priority two, three, or four. They are not repeating tasks. They're not subtasks, and they do not have subtasks. If we click, that would give us the list of what they are, but more important, that's given, going to give us the button that we can now save that as a smart list. And so now, over on the side, whenever we got overwhelmed by all of our tasks, we could just click the Blast Forward Eligible, and that would bring up everything that met that particular criteria. Then we would put a check at the very top, and postpone all of those tasks, however much we wanted to. Remember the milk makes rearranging a large number of tasks easy. The ability to multi-select tasks to change in mass is one of the reasons why. Smart list is another. Look at your own needs and try your hand at creating the smart list that you need. Thanks for stopping by today. And if you want to catch the next video, 
click right over here to subscribe so that you never miss a thing. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.